Richie Bob here and welcome to a haul video. This is a haul from somewhere I've just been on a really fun trip, Disneyland Paris. Disneyland Paris is probably my least favourite of all the Disneyland parks I've been to but I'm really really glad I decided to go back because it has improved so much in the past sort of seven years it's really upped its game and it's definitely worth checking out and I got some really awesome merchandise I couldn't resist there's some really cute stuff there they were definitely limited compared to the other parks I've been to which have been Florida and California but, but the things that they did have were really cute and I did spy some new things that I haven't seen before so although they didn't have the things like the tails that I wanted to get and pushed pennies were very sparse and other certain things that I like to get when I'm at Disney like popcorn buckets they didn't have but there were new things that I'm going to show you now anyway. I have a bag full of stuff and I should have put it in a Disney bag so that's very unpretty of me to do. So the first thing I got, well I actually got two pairs of ears this time, wouldn't normally do that but I did, couldn't resist. Some it rained a lot while we were there so I had some for good weather and some for bad weather. I already own quite a few pairs of Disney ears. I've got Christmas ones, I've got gold sequins, I've got black sequins, I've got Tigger ears. I've just got loads of different pairs of ears but I actually decided to get these a really awesome mini pirate ears these are so cute and you can see the detail on there they're really really lovely I forget how much these were but they were towards the expensive end near I think about 20 something euros um, and that yeah they were a little bit more than normal ears and they had these big feathers which was difficult when it came to pack them but they are really fun and definitely very pirate kind of Minnie Mouse-esque so I really love these but I definitely also really like the other ones that, that I got and these were kind of the cheapest ears that were available I think these were like 14 euros something like that I'm a bit sketchy on the prices sorry um, and these are just fluffy ears with the Minnie Mouse bow on and when you first see them you think oh they're a bit basic and everything else but sometimes the most basic ones are the ones that you end up looking at and thinking they are so cute I love them and when they get wet in the rain they just look so cute they were just uh, I love I love these ears I love I love them both definitely but I definitely wouldn't put down these just because they're so but just because they were the cheapest they're absolutely adorable and so fluffy and lovely so I'll add this to my collection, I definitely need some ear storage so if anyone can recommend anything that I would store ears on, please do. Okay the next thing I got, and I'm literally going to show you everything I got, um, we went to the Ratatouille restaurant, Bistro Chez Remy, I think that's probably a very Yorkshire way of saying it, um, which is new Ratatouille section of Disneyland Paris, well the Walt Disney Studios at Disneyland Paris because there's two parks and then the Disney Village well this is this was new like last summer and everything in the restaurant is done like super sized so you're like made to feel like you're a small little rat really and I asked for a cup of tea everything was really expensive in there I can't stress to you how expensive it is so if you do book a table be aware you are going to have set meals very expensive prices um, it is lovely though I had like ratatouille with cod and mashed potato, I don't, it did have a fancy name and it was absolutely delightful. And when I got a tea I got these extra tea bags, Vervine Bio and one is some kind of fruit green tea um, and the other one was something else that I actually drank. So I just thought I'd bring these home because it was so expensive I was like I'm going to take those. Even though they said it was a choice I was just like yoink. Next thing I got was a vinyl mission. This is a frozen vinyl mission. You will have seen this if you watch my vlogs over on my iPhone channel. Um, there's a playlist for those. I'll try and remember to put the link 
on the screen somewhere or in the description. These figures were the ones that I wanted the least, but still they have started my Frozen collection off. I have a huge Final Mission collection and these are the Trolls from Frozen. They're very sweet. They had quite a good selection of Final Mission. I did still see a swap box available um, in one of the shops, um, but I know they are retiring those at the moment, so that might be somewhere you want to go if you want to swap. They didn't have any that I wanted to swap for. These are the Trolls. They're actually pretty cute, and getting three for the price of one. That's fun. I like that. The next thing in my bag is this really cute pen. This is a Minnie Mouse Pride pen. The reason I got this, oh and by the way, the Frozen Vinyl Mission was €12.99. Um, sorry, €12.99 I suppose I should say. This pen was €5.99, very expensive for a pen. But I did want the ears with the veil, but the veil was so long. I didn't want people to think I was on a hen do. Um, I just wanted it. And I also was, I thought they were really missing some spring ears. They did have a hat that had ears on and flowers, but I thought they should have had a spring version of the ears like they have on ASOS.com with all the flowers on the ears. And I just thought the one with the veil on has some flowers in the middle and it kind of made you just want to cut off the veil but I would never do that to Disney ears so I ended up treating myself to the lovely pen because I thought I can use that when I get home and think of a wonderful trip I've had and just inject a little bit of Disney into my daily life so that's why I got this pen so cute okay like I said it rained a lot while I was at Disneyland Paris I wasn't prepared for it overly I took two pairs of socks to wear when I wore my trainers which I wasn't expecting on wearing I was expecting to wear my toms I don't wear socks with my toms so I thought I'll buy myself some socks in case I want to wear my trainers some more because my feet are wet so I got these awesome Nightmare Before Christmas trainers that, yeah, trainers socks these are slipper socks um, I think they were around 10 euros there were some normal socks they were 8 euros and they weren't as nice so I thought I'll get these just to keep my feet nice and toasty because I'm really into slipper socks and fluffy socks and things and I wear them all the time and I'm always cold so something like this is a really good investment for me I haven't worn them yet I didn't get a chance to wear them while I was away so I'm kind of saving them they're really soft and fluffy and the slipper bits on them are bones which I thought was a really good detail. Absolutely love these socks. Okay, the next thing I got is something that I hadn't seen before going, so I was really pleasantly surprised when I saw these. It's a hair bubble, and it's Sully from Monsters Inc. They had Tigger versions, they had Minnie Mouse, and I think they might have had Cheshire Cat, but I think that's all I saw. These, I think these are new, and these are priced at €6.99 so they're very expensive for a hair bubble but they are so adorable even for me just to wear on my wrist or maybe I'll wear it I don't know if I'll even wear it but it's just so cute I couldn't resist it so cute I also just um, kind of stole this from the hotel we stayed at the Santa Fe Hotel which, has, which is one of the official Disney hotels on site. It was really lovely. It was just a 10 minute walk up a river to Disney Village, which was really handy. And it's kind of an old Mexican, kind of a Tex-Mex kind of theme, but it's been rethemed to be cars. And we were in the Lightning McQueen section of the hotel. And anyway, this was the only Disney themed thing in the room, apart from the cars decor. Um, this was the only kind of Mickey shaped thing and it's a shower gel. I used it as bubble bath. Oh my goodness, best bubble bath ever. The bubbles were up the wall. It was really good. Anyway, regardless, I just wanted to keep the bottle because it's got little ears on it and it's really cute. In this bag is some candy because I'm going to be doing a French candy taster. So I bought this candy at the airport and that's going to be on there. Just a few more things. This was from the 
Bistro Chez Remy restaurant. This is the napkin that was on the table. It's a very strong napkin. It's got a cute little ratatouille design on the bottom and it says Disneyland Paris on the back and I thought that was really worth keeping because it's just cute. I've used that word a lot. And I did buy myself a macaroon at the airport and it was a Ladure, I don't know how you say it, but I was overblown when I saw it because I've seen Ladure on loads of celebrity posts of macaroons and I was just like, oh my goodness, they have it at the airport and I just had to buy it. So yeah, celebrities one, Richie Bop nil. And this was in the um, steak that was eaten at the Ratatouille restaurant and it's a Ratatouille food stabby thing and it says on it Disney Pixar and I just thought it was really cute, too cute to leave, another good probably useless souvenir but for the price you paid in there you took everything home with you. And the last two things I've got are Sum Sums, you guys who have been watching me for a while will know that I collect Sum Sums especially if you watch over on my iPhone channel I'm constantly getting them and while I was in Disneyland Paris I decided even though they had quite a lot of the range that is available here in the UK they had some that I haven't seen before so I decided just to get those I bought the White Rabbit this is the White Rabbit really really nice you can tell it's the White Rabbit it's really cool bit eerie kind of design and it, these were five euros 99 and yeah I just thought that was really really lovely with this cute little tail and also, and I hear that this, oh this, that this isn't the last thing, um, I hear that this one is exclusive to Disneyland Paris Parks um, and we only saw it on the merchandise stall out, kind of outside of the Pinocchio ride. Um, didn't see it in this Pinocchio shop, didn't see it anywhere else, only saw it the first two days and then it sold out completely. This is a really rare Sum Sum, it's really cute and it's the Pinocchio Sum Sum. Really, really flipping love this. The more I look at it, the more I love it. It's got this uh, label on it, I'm not sure if that indicates that it's exclusive because it's a bit different, a lot of my tags are different from where I've got the Sum Sums but it's absolutely flipping adorable. Oh okay, two more things that I didn't see. Um, the first one is this bracelet. This is from the Planet, no, this is from the Rainforest Cafe shop and it's a bracelet with lots of little elephants on it and it was designed as a friendship bracelet. They had all different colours and they also had different designs. I think they were mostly turtles, um, but this was an elephant and they said if you get one with the colour on, the more it fades as you travel, it shows that you travel a lot and keeps you safe and that kind of thing. And I just thought it was really nice. I took a picture of the box so I could remember what it said. Totally lost the picture. But anyway, um, this is, I just thought it was a really nice bracelet and I just like looked really cute and it was only like one euro ninety and I was just overblown how cheap it was compared to everything else so I bought it and the only push penny that I got on the whole trip was from also from the Rainforest Cafe shop they had two push penny machines in there and supposedly there's one in the King, King Ludwig's Castle restaurant but I didn't see that I did go in and I didn't see it at all I don't know if that's been removed None of them were Disney themed, they were all themed on the place that they were in, there were no push penny machines in Disney itself. They've all been replaced with like souvenir coins, um, which I don't collect and I don't want to start collecting because I collect enough stuff. So just so you know, if you are planning on getting push pennies from Disneyland Paris, don't get your hopes up. This is the one that I got from the Rainforest Cafe, it's the Eiffel Tower with a snake around it and it's quite lovely and a nice memory of having been there. I had to get one. So that's it, that's my Disneyland Paris haul. I hope you enjoyed it, let me know your favourite thing in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!